A battle brewing tonight over who should allow be allowed to make gun laws. The city of Columbus says they should be, but the state disagrees. And this morning, a judge's ruling, at least for now, gives the city the power to address everything from mandating gun locks to banning assault rifles. 10 TV's Kevin Landers reports on the back and forth involving your safety. Despite the state's attempt to block it, a Franklin County judge ruled in favor of the city of Columbus to develop its own rules on how to curb gun violence. For one mother who lost a son, she believes it's time for cities to take the lead. My son was killed on September 16th of 2021. They were trying to rob him, and at that point is when a gun was pulled and they shot him. The mother of Bryce Persang says the pain of losing her son to gun violence has had a ripple effect on her family all the way down to her nephew. Every time there is a news story about someone being shot and killed, he always asks if, if they're talking about his uncle. And he's eight. These are things he shouldn't know. Catherine Persang applauds a judge's ruling that would allow Columbus to consider everything from mandating gun locks to banning assault rifles as a way to curb gun violence. We really need to come together collectively um, and try to figure out a solution to this because we are losing our youth and that is our future. Columbus City Attorney Zach Klein sued the state to allow the city to set its own laws. An assault weapon ban is something that the city of Columbus can now consider and it's something I certainly would support. The news was met with strong resistance from gun supporters like the Buckeye Firearms Association. This is yet another attempt by the city of Columbus to override state law and pass gun control laws they have no right to pass. The whole idea of having statewide preemption regarding firearms is to provide one consistent set of laws throughout the state rather than a patchwork of laws that will entrap and confuse people and infringe on their Second Amendment rights. Starting with something simple as a lockbox, which prior to this ruling, we couldn't even touch to and to, to try to even have the conversation. That's how, that's how devoid of common sense some of these laws out of the state legislature are. As for Catherine Persang, she says gun violence robbed her of the son she never saw grow up and hopes no other family has to live with that memory. We live with the fact that we never truly will know um, the man that he would have become. Catherine Persang says her son's murder remains unsolved but was told by police they do have two suspects. Reporting from downtown Columbus, Kevin Landers, 10TV News.